This is one very nice image of an asteroid taken by the Hayabusa spacecraft, a Japanese mission, which is why we have this very nice and highly detailed picture here. Although it is a very small asteroid, as you can see, it's only about 300 meters long diameter. As you can see, it's not very clear, but this is the, the size um, about range. Now, asteroids are very often described as potato shaped, and here you can see why. This also looks quite potato shaped. Um, but it can come in various forms. I'll show a couple of um, examples here. Also, the surfaces are quite different. They can be cratered. So this one here is not very cratered, possibly because it's quite small. But because it's very detailed image, we can see lots of boulders on the surface, large, one, large ones, smaller ones. Um, yeah. The high or the, the more close-up images show that this is like a, like a fractal, the closer you come, it looks always the same, so boulders of all sizes basically. But there are also sometimes some planes in between, maybe this is material that was expelled and then um, was deposited here in, in, in this, well, not really a depression because there's no real gravity or something like this. So this is quite a typical shape here and a very small asteroid. This is the second example, this is Gaspar. Um, it's quite big now, it's about 12 kilometers in size. And here you can see quite a cratered surface, and possibly if we had a close-up, we would also see lots of boulders on the surface from some kinds of collisions. So there seem to be um, high-impact collisions causing these craters, but also small um, velocity impacts causing the collection of other material. And of course, not all of the impacts are high velocity because the asteroids um, move around the sun in the same, all in the same direction, so it's not that they're in opposite directions and we have a high speed impact or something like this. It's more like maybe on a highway where they are all about the same velocity and then just touch each other. But of course on a highway this might cause some severe problems here. It's more collection of material. Now this is a um, compilation of asteroids here. So the big one is Vesta. And it is believed that the HED meteorites come from Vesta. So these are the Howardites, Diogenites, and Eucrites. Because um, based, on, so the, based on reflectance spectra of Vesta and these uh, meteorites. And again, uh, we see quite a cratered surface. In fact, all the lower part here might be one big crater with a central peak here that we can see as one, one hill. And it's quite a large asteroid with about 520 kilometers. And there's also uh, Gaspar for comparison. And down there, there's also Itokawa. But you can't see there's just a line pointing to it because it's so tiny compared to the others. Now, this is the biggest asteroid. It's Ceres. It has about 950 kilometers in diameter. So even the largest asteroid in the asteroid belt has, uh, doesn't reach 1,000 kilometers in diameter. It's quite cratered. It's round. Spherical, um, so there are just very few that are spherical because they apparently need a bigger size. Vesta was about spherical. This is now really very nicely spherical. Again, the surface with lots of craters here, and if you had better close-ups, again, would be probably a lot of, of um, boulders here. And there are a couple of bright spots on the surface here in the right image. This might be that there was some water after an impact or so came up from below and then quickly evaporated, and these are the remaining salts that then based, are deposited as an evaporate uh, on, the, on the surface here. Now this is uh, one of the odd-shaped asteroids. There are very few of um, very odd-shaped asteroids. This is one of these. Um, looks like a dog bone. It's called Cleopatra and has a quite a large size with about 120 kilometers. And here it is thought that there was really a high velocity impact of two asteroids and they then sort of stuck together and, and couldn't get apart again. And finally, it's also possible that an asteroid like Ida here with about 20 kilometers in diameter has a moon like a dactyl here. Now the moon is about a kilometer in, in size. But this is not a stable configuration. So um, it's possible that an asteroid captures a moon or another rock for some time that orbits then this asteroid as a moon or satellite. But after some time, this um, instable configuration will then disappear again and this will be individual asteroids. So this is um, how, all these ast how asteroids look like. Typically potato-shaped, sometimes odd-shaped, sometimes even with a satellite or, or moon. 
The surface um, typically cratered, so indicative of lots of collisions, but this is like the other terrestrial planets, um, and lots of boulders um, commonly on the surface also showing that there was this kind of capturing of other material onto at least the surfaces of these asteroids. So that's how asteroids look like.